I wanted to show you a new piece of gear that I picked up for this summer only. It's the Big Agnes AXL Air, and it's the uninsulated version. I got it in the, the regular wide, um, just because they don't have a large version of the AXL Air that's uninsulated. It comes in a box about this small, and if you know anything about sleeping pads, you're never gonna get to that size again. <laughs> so I just kind of rolled it up. It's about the size of a Nalgene um, in this kind of rolling method that I use or folding method that I, that I use. And so it's 13 ounces, 13.7 in the stuff sack. It's a sealed poly stuff sack. And I figured that, let's go ahead and check it out. Now it comes with this box, of course, but go ahead and recycle this. And it comes with this tiny uh, repair kit. And the first thing I noticed when I first got this um, is how thin this is. Because I use a pad in the hammock and occasionally I'll use it in a shelter um, or if I really need to ground sleep. If you remember, I used my Neo Air X-Therm pretty much year round, but I thought what I needed, I also needed a um, pad for summer because the X-Therm in the dead of summer can get fairly hot. Even in a shorts and t-shirt, you can be sweating with the X-Therm just because it reflects so much body heat um, back to you. It really feels like a like a really thin sheet that you would use in the summer. The valve is also pretty different. They have this wide valve here, and of course they have, sorry, a, a wide cover. And then they have a two-way valve with a little button you can depress to kind of let air out. Um, and it also still lets air in. So let's go ahead and count how many breaths it takes to kind of get this thing fully inflated. So that's what it looks like. It is 72 inches long, so six feet. I'm six foot one, but honestly, I assume in the summer, uh, depending on the foot box and my quilt or whatever I'm covered up with, I really don't need that extra inch, inch and a half. And you'll see when I lay down on it, what it looks like. In terms of width, it is 25 inches wide. I need that wider pad just so if I toss and turn, the 20 inch pads just don't cut it for me. I had fairly broad shoulders, and so 25 is what will work. So this is the rectangular one as well. If you look at the size of the baffles, three and three quarter inches on the side baffles, external baffles, to kind of keep you nestled in the pad, and three and a quarter on the more internal baffles. So the idea is to kind of keep you in the center of the pad. So let's see what it looks like when I lay on it. So that is actually really comfortable. Um, my X-Therm has the horizontal baffles, and this one just kind of, it does kind of keep you, it has a concave center, if you will. It just kind of keep you, keeps you in the uh, middle of the pad, which is pretty awesome. For those of you guys who are side sleepers, no problems, my, my hip does not, and I wouldn't expect it to, my hip does not touch uh, the bottom of the floor. One thing I can recognize right away is that this is slicker um, than my X-Therm, so I feel like I, well, it does such a nice job kind of keeping you centered. I think it may have some difficulty in the hammock with slipping and sliding in there, more so than the X-Therm does, but we'll have to see what it looks like. You can see, maybe, um, my feet are right at the edge of that, and so it's true to size. And if I want to deflate it just a little bit, I just pop open that wide mouth and I'll touch the, the valve just a little bit and lets that air out. So that's nice also, it's right up here. You can adjust it uh, while you're in the pad. In terms of deflation, and so showing you what this looks like, there's that wide mouth and there's that button you push right there that lets the air out. And so it actually does release the air relatively quickly. So you're wondering, how do you go ahead and get the air out of this? What you do is you use right there, that kind of hook shape and you go Sorry, you can see all the spit in there, right there. Oh, let's see if we can get a, a good shot of it. Nope, you're not gonna get a good shot of it, sorry. But the idea is you put it right in there and you let that deflate. And it actually deflates fairly quickly. So what I usually find works best for me is as with all pads the goal is to get all the air out fat first then close the valve the 
in, close that valve, and you'll find that rolling it up is a whole ton easier now. I actually prefer, for me, pulling it up like this, even though it's not as compact as like a four-way fold. And since I have this slightly bigger stuff sack, Big Agnes sends you a stuff sack that's about like there, how it's originally, um, you know, that bag is in, originally intended to go into. I just don't have the patience, maybe you do, to get it back to this original shape or form. I just go for a bigger stuff sack. There you go. So that is about the size of an Nalgene bottle, but when it comes in is about a little bit bigger than the size of a soda can. Another big thing to note as well is that this does come with a, um, a pump sack or something you can push your air into so you don't have to blow into it. Supposedly the inside of the pad is has some antimicrobial coating so you don't have to worry about um, your breath causing uh, mildew or mold to kind of grow in there. At least that's the idea. But so far, overall thoughts are super light, fantastic. I, I'm probably gonna be saving eight or nine ounces with my base weight um, just going to this in the summer. And so that'll work out perfectly for me. And that's one of the big reasons I wanted to give this a try. In terms of our value, Big Agnes doesn't use our values anymore for their pads. So this has just a temperature rating. Remember, it's uninsulated. And so you're talking a temperature rating of 35 degrees is what Big Agnes says this will go down to. And so if you're gonna go colder than that, this is not the pad for you. But in the dead of summer, um, places I hike, it probably will be fine. Um, if I'm talking about mountain areas, I probably will keep bringing the X-Therm um, because I wanna make sure I stay warm. My big concern is durability. Uh, I'm really just not sure how this will go. I purchased this from REI. I think it's a REI exclusive for right now. The reason I did that is just so that I have that year long um, return period in case durability is not good this year. I know Big Agnes says they've come out with this, I don't know, high weave, nylon, it's marketing speak. And so I'll see how it does and I'll report back or comment back on this video in a little while and I'll let you know how um, durability wise it's held up. I've really wanted to try this since I saw them announce it. I'm hoping it will compete to some extent uh, with the Neo Air X Lite, even though the X Lite has a much higher um, R value or probably temp rating. I'm really curious to see how this does and how this uh, compares to a lot of those other pads. You notice, of course, there was no crinkling, there was no noise um, as I felt this, uh, as I folded this up. Um, compared to the X-Lite, which people complain about being kind of too crunchy um, and keeping others awake. So what do you guys think of this pad? I think it, it looks fantastic. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your initial impressions are just based on this video, and we'll talk about it down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.